Just out of our restoration shop is this beautiful black 1966 Ford Mustang convertible. When it came into our shop, it was a, a nice black car, but it had a few dings and stuff in it. So we sent it to the body shop and had the whole car block sanded, repainted, wet sanded and buff black, put all new emblems on the fenders, new rocker moldings, new wheel well trim. Um, and it's just a fantastic looking car. It's got the rally wheels uh, with brand new, uh, they're the chrome rally wheels with new trim rings, um, like new BFG race white letter tires all the way around. If you look up and down the sides, it's a very nice straight car. It's got what I'd classify as a, you know, a car show, uh, parade quality paint. It's a nice straight car. It's been West and buff nice. Just a beautiful driver condition, 1966 Mustang does have a four barrel on it, it's got an aluminum intake, it's got chrome um, water pump with uh, chrome pulleys and stuff like that. It does have an electric fan. It's got all new plug wires, new distributor, electronic ignition, um, nice solid inner fenders. It's got a newer battery in it. We'll get to this part when I start driving it, but this is one of the best Mustang convertibles that I've drove. Very tight, very fast, transmission shifts great. Just a lot of fun to drive. Engine compartment looks real nice on it. Our hood gap on the uh, driver's side is tight from front to back. I don't see it chipping anywhere, but it's a nice tight gap and it fits the fender nicely. Passenger side's also on the tighter side, not quite as tight as the uh, driver's side. That's a nice gap. Front bumper is original, um, at least original to the car when we got it. Um, it shined up really nice, so we left it. The marker lights on the front balance are nice and shiny. The chrome's nice on them. Um, the horse and corral are used, but they're in great shape as well. Um, we did put new 289 emblems on the front fenders and like I said all new wheel well trim and rocker molding. Car looks nice, the paint looks nice and wet still. Um, like I said the paint job's about uh, probably four weeks old. So here in another month or so a guy wants to buff it again probably. But it's a beautiful car. No dents, no dings, no scratches, nothing like that that I can see in the uh, hood or the front fender. As far as our, uh, there's a little white rubbing compound there on the on the door jam area. Um, gap in the front of the door looks good. Gap behind the door looks good. A little bit wider in the top than bottom, but really not bad at all. Um, no blisters anywhere on the quarters, rockers, doors. Wasn't any blisters when we got it. So the paint was older. It just had, like I said, some scratches and stuff in it. Gives you a good look of how it looks up and down the side. The paint's a little dry between the tail light lenses. Um, right down in this area, that never got wet sand and buff the way it looks. Probably should be. Back bumper is very presentable, looks good. The tail light chrome has quite a few pits and stuff around it. For the money, they're not very much money, probably should be replaced. As you look at the trunk pictures, it's got the, the full size spare. It's got a raised white letter on that as well. Um, trunk floor is perfect, it's all painted black, looks real nice. We look up and down the driver's side, it's nice and straight. No smoke coming out the tailpipes. It's got a nice sounding 289 in there with dual exhaust. As far as the trunk lid goes, there might have been one little tiny ding that the body shop missed right here. You can kind of see it in the right light. But other than that, there's no nothing in the trunk lid. Uh, no dents, no scratches. Does have a nice boot and it does have a power top. The power top works. It's got a black top. Um, the black top does have, I think, a little slit in one side of the top, but I mean, it's not bad. As far as the interior goes, 
we put all new door rubbers on it and when we painted it the doors came off and we jammed it properly. Put new scuff plates on it. Like you said, everywhere you look it's black and you don't see any other color, nothing like that. Um, the convertible roof rubbers are in good shape right here. We put brand new seat covers front and rear and they absolutely look beautiful. No wrinkles anywhere. Um, it does have some uh, Pioneer like 3x6s in the back door panels. The back door panels were all taken off during restoration and cleaned up. Uh, front door panels, armrest bases are all brand new. Inside of the doors, all that black was repainted during restoration. New carpet was installed also. We put new bushings in the shifter. Um, we put a new glove box door on it. We put a brand new gauge, uh, sorry, we put a brand new bezel set in it. So it's got all the new chrome bezels and everything like that. Put a brand new dash pad on it. Um, we repainted the speaker cover when we did it. Painted the steering wheel, repainted the column. I mean, the inside is absolutely immaculate. Door shuts great. I think a guy could get by with a black top, it's a triple black car. Probably to make it perfect, guy wants to put a new top on it sometime. But for right now, for a driver, he could get by with it just fine. Paint really has a nice luster to it. Tires got a lot of good tread left. Kind of see how straight and nice it is down low. Paint's great. Door gap. You don't have to slam the door. Shuts really easily, very nice. Fender to door gap is absolutely perfect. There again, no blisters anywhere, which there shouldn't be. Does have the factory door tag still in it. Corners of the doors have never had any Bondo or body filler. Carpets laid in there nicely. Everything was painted underneath the dash black when it was done, so it looks nice. Really, there isn't anything to speak of. Um, the horn is not working on it. Wipers work nice. Dash lights work on it. Heater fan works. Uh, temperature gauge works on it. Amp gauge, oil pressure, and fuel gauge, and speedometer. All the gauges work. The original AM radio is does not work, but it's still the original. Um, and uh, horn doesn't work. So there's the radio and the horn are the only two items that aren't working on the car. Also, I don't see any toggle switch um, to turn that electric fan on. So when I get back, I'm going to check with the guys and just see if uh, if that has a uh, automatic electric fan, if that comes on automatically. I did, I did mention earlier, this front end on this car is super tight. I mean, there's absolutely no play in the steering wheel, in the front suspension. The kick down on the transmission is great. Like I said, when this car first came in, I drove it, and uh, it's one of the best driving Mustangs that I've ever drove. As far as speed, transmission, front end, it does not have power steering and power brakes, and believe me, it doesn't need it. straight down the road. It brakes nice, no pull left or right. It's carrying great oil pressure. Like I said, amps are charged, it's charging, temperature gauge is not getting hot on us.
got a nice hard shift. What a nice Mustang. You don't need to do any performance modifications to this one. Transmission shifts at 30, about 75. If you lay into it, it's just a fantastic car. There again, no hands on the wheel, brakes perfectly straight.